Now we're down at Red Car. That's a good old chunk of uh, probably Ariatites Buklandi, I imagine, or Coronisterus. Chunk that. Nice. That's a wax. Just a break I need to do this. I thought that was a Cardinia shell, but this is actually a just a normal shell. Not a fossil. Well, not expecting to find an Elegantisserus nodule. Uh, oh. Uh, no middles, that's a shame. Yeah, Elegantisserus. Unusual place, maybe it's come out of the clay. It's a bit of a rotten one, but could be Ellie's in it. Oh, there we go. It's tiny explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck more in the. Uh, there we go. Is there out in it? Oh, there is one in it. Oh, nice. Oh, hang on. Is it Nelly? It is, isn't it? That's a nice one, that. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Take that. I'll take both halves, mate. Well, maybe not both halves. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, unfortunately, the, the outer pyrite skin's uh, gone. But nice. Yeah, little Elegantissus nodule here. In this clay. Ugh. Right. Try and get it out and see if there's out in this one. How bizarre, going to Red Car to find Elegantisserus. Yeah, we're at Red Car, and uh, of all things, a cannonball. Oh, first smack. Empty. Empty. Well, there's a bit of gunk in there, but no, no ammonites. No. Oh well, never mind. But you know that that one strike split. That's the mark of a pro. That, uh, you know, that's yeah, just uh, a little bit of the petrified forest showing still. That is a tree trunk and a half. That's actually pretty cool. I think this is Ice Age, I think, as well. It's not it's not old old. Yeah, all the branches. There's a load of this exposed, I think, uh, earlier this year. a little bit exposed at the moment but all this area usually uh, gets exposed with all these uh, trees. There's a tree stump there. Probably 20,000 years old. And a quick interruption to the video just to let you know that it's just 10 days to go uh, before the Osliferous hoodie merch drop. So uh, I've done a limited edition of 25. Uh, that's all I'm going to do uh, and uh, limited sizing so uh, they're available now to pre-order on the Fossiliferous uh, online shop. It's fossiliferous.onlineweb.shop. Uh, you can place a pre-order. We'll be picking them up on the 26th of November and dispatching shortly afterwards. So if you want to secure your uh, size, uh, go on there and put in a pre-order. Um, and yeah, secure it in time for Christmas for a loved one or yourself. Thanks for listening. Back to the video. It's a big imprint of an ammonite. A few more imprints. Uh, the shale again. So, yeah, interesting stuff. I'm not seeing any nodules loose anywhere, but yeah, interesting. Find uh, some of these uh, shale preserved ones. Try and work out the species. Yeah, a little uh, ammonite there in the, in the shale. Again, it's not all there, no middle, but. Interesting to see. Another bit there, look. They look a little bit like Echioceros to me, these. I'm not quite sure what they are. Interesting though, all the same. And a few more there. You can see another one. The seaweed attached. There's another one down here. Yeah, you can see they're really soft. I think they might be Arneoceros actually. But uh, yeah, just out of worlds. That's still interesting. Going away from there, there's a nodule, I think. Is it a nodule? Oh, yeah, a little nodule. Bit of wear, but yeah, something in that. I wonder if it's a uh, America's style. Mm, not sure what that is. They look very similar to me to these these aged ammonites, so uh, yeah. 
interesting little nodule at least anyway definitely a little better these things so yeah another, another few in the shale there and there's one poking out down here yeah interesting the odd one must be in a nodule quite a few of these little things very interesting yeah so these definitely run all the way along this bed you can see them everywhere yeah. Yeah, quite interesting well that's an interesting shell down there I don't think it's complete that could be a plagiostoma get it out of the rock pool oh A, I think it's a plagiostoma. Some nice detail on it actually. Lovely. Shame it's not quite complete. It's not far off though. Lovely detail on that. Pretty sure it's plagiostoma. Cool. Yeah, some lovely dry fear in the mud. There's a lot of these little jellyfish around at the moment. They're everywhere. Little jellyfishies. Loads of them. Literally just scattering the beach. Uh, don't know if they sting or what, but yeah, won't be touching any of those. And yeah, dry fear bed here. It's uh, seen all the dry fear shells, devil's toenails. Card in here there. A little card in here there. Yeah. Oh. Well, we're walking for a while. And not found much, but yep, some more signs of ammonites here. Again, just in the shale, so not all preserved very well, but it's very sandy at the moment still, unfortunately. But uh, there's definitely some there, squished. Uh, hopefully there'll be some nodules at some point. It's very interesting, his red car. So we've got these... Um, sloping uh, shale flats so you can see that as we're going this way we're actually going younger because the, the layers are stacked on each other and they would have been sloping upwards so as we go this way we're actually getting through into the older layers so I have no idea where exactly we are at the moment because there's not very much in terms of ammonites to see uh, but uh, you're coming into intermittent gryphia beds but then uh, yeah, that's about it. Gryphia kind of persisted for quite a long time, so difficult to tell at the moment exactly where we are in the stratigraphy. But yeah, just looking along, see if we can find anything of interest. There we go, another ammonite. It's quite bent and crushed, but uh, get these oysters off it so we can see it better. Not quite sure what it is again. <laughs> Could be uh, a number of things. Yeah, that's uh, some sort of ammonite. Some signs here. There's definitely been some ammonites wearing out of this bed. Yeah. Ah, there we go. A little Malpheus block. Let's see if there's all in it. to break. Maybe if I do. There you go. I've got half of you in. Be an empty one anyway. Guarantee it normally. Bash that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fine. There you go. 
Oh, there were a bigger one on that one. Oh, wow, look at that. Which side was the uh, ammonite on now? <laughs> Too much sand. What's the other one now? That's there. Yeah, uh, probably take that and yeah. All good. Fair enough. Ah, a nice little block there. Just need to give it a bit of a tap, see if we can find out in it. As you can see there is a imprint of an ammonite across there, across the top there, but they're quite worn, so yeah, see if we can film this. Side? No, there isn't. Not, not that side, anyway. I'll give it a tap on this, this sedge then. Yeah, a little ammonite showing there. Must be more than just a tiny, tiny one in there than that. Oh dear. Some days they just don't play ball. Oh, there's one. Edge, little subnodosis uh, ammonite. That's all we're getting. Yeah, unfortunately, that's it. There we go, just tap that one. Get a nice little double sided split, Amalthius subnodosis. Lovely little one that one, beautiful.